Hey everybody, it's Becky here again. It's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, we're in the middle of winter and you know, you tend not to want to be outside. It's like negative stupid degrees out here. You got frost on your eyelashes. <laughs> Um, so I just want to do a quick update. We've had some changes on the farm. Get my glove back on. My hand freezes. Um, we've brought, we've bred the goats and we've bred the sheep. So we had the ram up. We brought the sheep up from the um, from the run-in shed down in the fields, and they're up here in by the house now for the winter. Um, they've all were with the ram for about two months. So hopefully they're all bred. And um, we've got this guy. This is Ace. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's Bruce still, yes. We still have Brucey baby. He's over there. He's sep <laughs> still separated from the sheep because um, <laughs> he's still chewing, <laughs> chewing on them, tasting them, that sort of thing. But this Ace, he is four years old and he's an experienced livestock dog. He was given to us um, from a couple that raises them, raised him, and um, they're downsizing their goat farm so they didn't need as many dogs. So um, they gave him to us because they were hoping that he would um, teach Bruce some lessons on how to be a good dog as well. Um, so he's, he's a sweetie. Yes, you are. But he's very scared of us. He won't, uh, he won't come very close. You see, like he won't—he won't let me touch him. We've never pet him since he's been here. Here, can you take a treat. Oh, good boy. Yeah, but he's very good with the sheep. He uh, guards and protects them really well. He sits right there in the opening of their their shelter, and he just watches. Um, but yesterday we did have some trouble with him. Um, he, for some reason, got it into his head to jump over the gate here um, and since he's still he's scared of us he won't come to us he just jumped the gate and took off down the field we well, can't even see it from here but way down 30 acres down to the river and he was not coming back so uh, obviously we did get him back um, had trudged down there and he eventually followed me back up to the house, about 20 feet behind me. I'd stop, he'd stop, he wasn't getting too close. And then he ended up parking himself here in the front yard and he was, you know, barking at everybody that went by. Uh, so eventually we all kind of came out and we chased him into that little pen area and, and trapped him. So he managed to get him back. So he was in the barn for a night because uh, I, didn't, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want him to jump out again. So he's back with the sheep now, and the solution that we've come up with, <laughs> um, he never touches the gate, like, or the fence, like he never, Bruce will jump up on the fence, he gets his head stuck through it, he's like, does not respect fences at all. This guy will never ever touch the fence, <clears throat> I'm not sure why, but it was the gate, the, the wooden gate that he jumped over, he kind of ran, and then like vaulted off the gate and over. So I've got just a livestock panel propped up, bungeed against it for now to kind of be like, this is not a way you can get out again. And I didn't want him tied up, um, tethered somewhere because I, I didn't want him to like get the sheep to get caught in it or, or anything. So we've got a drag chain on him as you can see. So it's just a six foot length of chain that he drags around. Uh, it's not heavy or anything. It's just enough of a hindrance that he's like, hey, you know, I can't really jump with this or whatever. So it's just to kind of dissuade him from doing that again. We're hopeful. So yeah, it's uh, it's well. We're, we're leaving him with the sheep alone. Um, him and eight Bruce did not get along. Yes, very well. Um, Bruce is very protective of, of me. And so they... Uh, they were not getting along so they're happier apart right now but um, in the spring when the sheep go back down to the to the pasture we'd like to have both dogs down there with them so we're giving giving Ace another week or so in here he's marked this pen as his pen so whenever I put Bruce in with him Bruce is very submissive 
and um, and they're not fighting or anything so that's good so we're just gonna give him another week or so with the chain and the the panel to see if he's he's staying and then uh, we'll slowly try bringing Bruce in and see if we can we can get them working well together that's the, the ultimate goal yes it is baby Yes, it is. And look, you got a little cut on your head because you're always sticking it through the fence. You're so silly. I don't know how you're so warm. Makes you warm and toasty. Wish I had a fur coat. Yes, I do. Okay, say bye. <laughs>